Hey everybody, it's uh, Randomizer here and we are doing our first episode of Let's Talk. I'll be talking about all of the Eurovision 2024 songs and I would rather do this than reactions to be honest because I think that number one I won't get copyright striked but I do want to like be able to unpack and I'll be starting with Electric Fields One Bit Gully. While entertaining the So for those of you that don't already know, Electric Fields represented or tried to represent Australia in Eurovision 2019 following Australia Decides. They did not win, obviously. That went to Kate Middle and Heidi Klee with Zero Gravity, which is an incredible song. I'm just going use to use this to talk about Australian in Eurovision. I am incredibly happy that we returned because for those of you that don't know, I'm based in Australia. Um, I'm happy that we've sent Electric Fields because they so deserve it. They have an incredible talent that is just unmatched. They're also the first band to, rep to represent Australia in our Indigenous languages. I cannot try to pronounce the, um, the names of it because I would rather not butcher our language, but... I am, I am really happy. Like, One Mil Gali is overall, um, as a song, I feel like it's okay. Like, there's not an awful lot wrong with it, but I also feel like it's incredibly safe. If we do qualify, it will be incredible. If we qualify anyway, it doesn't matter who we say, it will be incredible. Um, it, it's just... It seems that we might not as well because I haven't listened to a lot at this moment. I've gone to, I've listened to France, Ireland, Poland, Denmark, and Australia. Um, I am trying to, I'm waiting until May to listen to a lot of them. So like, wait, wait for May for this series to just, um, yeah. So it, it's going to be um, interesting to see how well Australia does in the contest. From the ones that I've listened to, it is a bop, uh, but most of them are. I also feel like it can be very um, try. I feel like that's the right word for this. Like, it's compared if, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm going to compare it to 2000 or whatever. And 2000 or whatever felt very um, into into the um, Australian culture more so than this. Like that that has sentences. This just has a couple of words. Um, I also am really excited about Electric Fields because they have the charisma to perform on Eurovision stage. And people are a fan of them. It's not someone random, someone new that we haven't seen before. Similar with Voyager. We saw them last um, two years ago, back in 2022, when they lost to Sheldon Riley. I I feel like it. we can win, although I doubt it. There's a chance. All right, there's a chance we win. If not, it sucks. If so, it's great. I just, I feel like that, I'm more worried about the jury than the televote because the televote's going to be into into Australia. The jury seem to favour ballads and stuff. So if they if they keep a hundred percent televote for the for the sem for the semis, we probably will qualify. I'm and if we do, we're going to get like eighth, ninth. Although Australia coming first last year. Oh, yeah, that was something else, really. And the ninth of the grand final, my God. Um, Yeah, so as I was saying, Australia can do well if they put in the effort. But I feel like that Electric Fields vocally might not be as 
efficient. They have to go through some sort of vocal training in order to get to be in Eurovision and do well. I'm not saying that they that they don't already sing beautifully because they both do. Both of the guys sing incredible. And I love hearing their voices harmonize. And I do do think and I do hope that Australia does really well. But we don't have the capacity to do to do vocally well. Like um it can he can the guys can do well if 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 under if under no stress because I've listened to them sing before and live without Eurovision and they sound incredible. But with the prospect of Eurovision dangling in front of them, they weren't brilliant. And I feel like that that will harm them a little bit. It won't kill their chances completely, but it will harm. That's my major issue with Australia. That and also the staging, trying to convert that into a stage might be a little bit harder. I don't see how it can be staged, but then again, they are just standing in front of a video, in front of, in front of a screen with the lyrics playing. So it can do well. Will it do as well as Voyager? Don't know. No clue. I again, I could be completely wrong. They could win. They could come last. It doesn't matter. I, I'm just ecstatic about electric fields, and I do want to see them do well. I really do. I just worry, and I feel like that that's going to be their main drawback. All right, so that was that video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in Malmo. And, well, I won't physically see you there, but I will be watching. You already know who I will be watching. Um, yeah, so cannot wait. Really hope Australia does well. Fingers crossed we do better than Voyager. We do the same as Voyager. But, yeah, so I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya. 